now we're on our way to... Wait, what's that? That's an eagle circling above that field. Wow, first time I ever saw an eagle. Anyway, we're now arriving in a place with uh, significantly increased radiation levels. This is the village of Simovisce, not too far from the nuclear power plant, which is located where that green arrow points to. Hmm, quite a lot of birds here. That's cranes. Oh, can <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Our oh, pride, that's what it says. Let's see what we can find here in this village. So, let's start with this building that is coming up on the right. Looks kind of neat from the outside, but as it, we're moving closer to the inside, we can see Ah, that doesn't look too good anymore. Let's peek through the door, nevertheless. Well, nothing much left, I guess. Just the roof collapsing. Oh, here's Hotel again. And I can look into the other windows. That's not much better, I guess. That's probably some asbestos in there. I don't know. It looks a bit like it. Hmm, not much to see. Let's move on. As you can pretty much hear, the radiation levels are a few times the normal background radiation that we would have, for example, in the town of Chernobyl, which would be 0.2 microsievert power. And here, it's about one microsievert power, but hotter in some spots. Some iron rods here for, I don't know what, maybe flagpoles. There were some little flags that you could put on the outside of a building, red flags and white flags, probably to indicate if you're open or not, I don't know. But this seems to have been a school. Well, this is just junk and glass bottles, but we can see it from other windows in a bit. But first of all, well, I have to go back out because this door is actually ah, too tight to open. Not exactly locked, but yeah, let's go around. Some toys and all, but, well, nothing too inviting inside. Nothing that is worth climbing the window for anyway. It's just trash. But I noticed that the Gamma Scout is clicking a little faster than usual in this place. And, well, we have, you can see about 1.5 microsievert power there on the floor. I'm just trying to see if I can find some even hotter spots. 1.7 microsievert power here. And well, in another spot there are about 4 microsievert power. But it's a rather uniform distribution over, I don't know, maybe half a square meter or something. So, it's not like a hot particle or anything, it's a uniform, um, more or less scattered contamination here. Well, let's move on and see what else we can find. Oh, what's that? Seem to be some kind of educating tool for children. There's a relic alphabet, a clock, calculator. Oh, maybe it was, I don't know if it was primary school or if it was kindergarten still, but something like that, some educational facility for kids. But yeah, not too much left here. Seems like the place has been scavenged a lot. That's right by the road, by the semi-intact Bamsley Road, so no big surprise I guess. Oh, a little sled. But inside, my usual trash. Simoniot. 
Airplane Antonov 6, 1930, History of Aviation. It's just everything that is contaminated around here. No unusual or increased clicks from the teddy bear. Let's move on to my comrade who was just staring at the floor and I was wondering what the hell is he doing? But then he tells it's a snake. Oh there, yeah, great. What kind of snake is that? Apparently this is a European viper. And yeah, as somebody else on YouTube already told me, it's venomous, not poisonous. I didn't know about this differentiation in English, sorry. Come on, come out of it. Whoa, it makes a noise. <laughs> Don't worry, I was just wiggling on the branches with my tripod. Hi. Oh. Hi, then. Oh, well. Let's just move on. This place had a lot of papers again, but also some interesting ones. A certificate for handmade Chernobyl baskets made from birch wood with a retail price of 1 ruble and 80 kopecks. Some trade union stuff. I don't know what it is exactly. Maybe one of my viewers knows again. This is some kind of book about foresting. Let's move to the area right behind that Our Pride sign and see what they have there. Oh, it's for chicken. Seems like some kind of farming place with lots of pens for pigs and sheep and whatever. Ladies shoes. <coughs> High heels. Yeah, over three. Well, it's probably just a moth concentrating the cesium-137 <coughs> as usual. And kind of like the cliché uh, Chernobyl exclusion zone abandoned place. Dolls. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and uh, two Gamma Scouts clicking in unity, which is kind of silly. But let's move on and see if this place doesn't hold a nice surprise for us, maybe. As long as you haven't checked out everything, you might have missed something. <coughs> oh, just broken floor. And too much fungus from my lungs. But what's that stuff next door? Some unknown medicine for injection. of medicine all over the floor and here I don't know what that is exactly 
the thing about construction management from 1980? No idea. Medical cabinet. Oxytocin. Mm. That is, you know, hormone. It's a hormone that is uh, released during giving birth, for mm -hmm. example, so you can induce that. I actually saw oxytocin at the fish hatchery as well. They also have bottles of that there. Oh, what's this? Fumagilin, derived from a fungus and for the treatment of different parasites, including even malaria. Ferroglucin. That's iron, iron with uh, uh, sugar. Injection for when you have uh, not enough blood. This infective agent from the Ministry of Agriculture of the SSSR. Oh, what is this? What does it say? Hmm. <laughs> Antitoxic polyvalent serum against paratyphoid in calves, pigs, lambs, sheep, and birds. Seems like we're at some kind of veterinary clinic. A nice butterfly. I think it's. Oh no, it's still alive. That's it has red wings. Ah. Come on. Maybe it's, it's not alive. It, it was alive. <laughs> <laughs> now it died. <laughs> Did you see that? I wonder how the hell that <coughs> happened. Maybe it was just the slightest gust of wind that made the wings of that dead butterfly close or something. I don't know, but that was weird. <laughs>